Hey, my friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jenny Hansen Lane. I'm a digital marketer, course creator, and I am setting up a passive income stream to change my lifestyle. I want more time, freedom, and more relationship freedom. Okay, so this is me documenting the journey. This is part two of creating a Canva image to text coloring book. In the last video, part one, you saw that it took a little while to generate those images. And now I've put in the book information. We're just doing a 40 page, eight and a half by eight and a half. We plugged those dimensions into Canva. It populated here. The really cool thing about this is, look, we have all of our little text to image guys here. So that is very cool. So we're going to just try to bang out this cover really quickly because I value your time and I don't want you guys just, you know, waiting around. I want something foresty, I think, and I'm not a master coloring book maker. I do like it, but I'm not, um, I'm not a seasoned professional in telling you what looks good and what doesn't. I've had coloring books that have sold, but I'm not necessarily, you know, you're not going to see the best cover out of here because this is kind of a test, but I am trying. I am trying. Okay. I feel like that one is actually really cute. It's got our mushrooms. Maybe it will get cut out. <laughs> yeah, it will. So let's do this. We're just going to round and try to keep as much of that tree as we can because we're going to cover that anyways with some of our little images. Okay, into my uploads, I've got our thing right here. And I always like, I mean, everybody does this different, but I do things in my own little way. Or maybe we can close my face. Will that be okay? Okay, there we go. Okay, so we're doing a beta of 40 pages just to take in perfect action, right? We just want to get going here. So um, in the process of this, I will also do a video of um, showing you just the descriptions that I've told you guys about before, and we'll just follow the entire journey of this particular book. Um, here we go. So I'm just putting in a little spine. It's too little really to put anything in there, but that gives me a good idea of my middle. All right, so I've got my middle in there and I, some of these images I have taken out the backgrounds of, so it will be kind of interesting um, with placing these in there. But the goal is just to give people an idea of what is in this coloring book, right? And um, I do think it's important when you're doing a coloring book to showcase what you are offering on the back. So people can, you can manage people's expectations. This helps with reviews that they know like what's actually happening what they're going to get. I think sometimes we have our own expectations and then they're not managed by the people who actually buy our books. Right? So I'm just going throughout here and I'm taking really imperfect action as I mentioned before. And I think we'll do, maybe we'll do, um, just four little or sorry, six little examples here of what they can expect. And let's do one more mushroom. All right. So I am not, as I mentioned before, you guys know that I'm not, uh, I'm, I've only been doing KDP for nine months. So I have a lot to learn that centered up. Okay. So we want to always put features in our color on our coloring books right and uh we want to 
advertise those particular features. So we are doing just a quick Quick, quick, quick. Okay, so over 30. And if you're new to this channel or you haven't watched the previous video, we're basically, oopsie, we're basically um, publishing this to see how it prints. I did not mean to do that. And I just lost all my, I'm great at tutorials, aren't I, you guys? That's so funny. Thanks for bearing with me. Like I said, if I could do it, anyone can do it. That's how I feel. No! You guys, this is so amazing that you're seeing me mess up this much. It should just, um, boost your confidence like nothing else, right? Like if Jenny messes up this much when she's teaching us how to do something, then we're going to be fine. Okay, so I did not even research. I broke my first mistake. I didn't even research if this was a validated topic. So we're going to do that right now. I feel like maybe I did, but, um, I honestly cannot remember. So we're going to validate in, uh, we're going to look at, I was looking up webinars today. I was looking up all these things to see what people are searching for, for Halloween. Okay. So We're going to type in Gnome's Coloring Book in Publisher Rocket. There's one for kids. There's one for adults. I kind of feel like mine's like for teens, don't you feel like? So we're going to go for adults and teens. That's what we're going to do. So we're going to go back to our Canva. Thanks for being patient with me, you guys. And there really is no rhyme or reason to the type of designing that I'm doing right now. I'm literally just trying to show you the quality of this book. Okay. So this is a gnome. I think we're going to just put teenagers in there because it's, I mean, if this book sells, that's great. But if it just gives us an idea, then that's great too. And my computer is extra slow. It could be because we're doing a video. We're going to match the mushrooms, I think. But hopefully that's okay. Okay. Then we're going to throw just like another little gnome down here. And let's do this cute guy. And this is interesting thing to remember about Canva image to text is even if you clean up an image, you still, you'll get, you're going to need to go in and save that as a PNG if you ever want to use it again. So I think that's something really important to remember uh, for this particular feature is I'm having to go back and do work again on it. And it's even telling me that it's having trouble processing my request. So maybe in future videos that I share, I'll have to go back in. I'm going to go fix it so you're not wasting your time sitting here with me. Uh, part three, I'll have the cover done and we will just start 
uploading right onto KDP. All right. Love you guys. Peace out.